Today I'd like to introduce you to the new IEC Infrared Counter UAV system. IEC is a manufacturer of surveillance platforms and an integrator of multiple sensors into a common operating system. The Counter UAV system is designed to locate, track, and disable drones as needed. Our partner, Black Sage Technologies, will explain how it operates. To counter the threat of commercially available drones, we have a full detect, identify, and defeat solution. On the detection side, we use today we're using the Spotter RF radars, and then we uh, use our artificial intelligence system to classify the difference between drones and birds. And then uh, we lock on with a video tracker so that we can follow the drone very precisely and identify it as a threat or a non-threat. And then we have our jammer, which cues to the same location as the camera system. And then we have the option of turning on uh, Wi-Fi as well as GPS RF jamming capabilities. The spot RF radars, some of the sensors we use are, are between 400, 350 to 450 meters. Then we also have a system that will do over a kilometer. And then with some other, with the uh, Griffin sensors and some other sensors that we utilize and have integrated, we're getting, I think, uh, up to seven mile detection. We uh, use a neural network based system that the operator can train. So this morning we came and set up our system and uh, there were some birds flying out and so we can actually click on those tracks and train the system that those are birds. Uh, and then we fly a drone and we can uh, train those as, as drones. And if other things come into the scene that we want to classify, we can add that training in real time. The radars are Doppler range radars. And so uh, depending on how many panels we have set up, each panel can cover uh, 90 degrees wide by 20 degrees vertical. So in the configuration we have here today, we're covering a 360 by 20 degree uh, vertical coverage, we can actually add more panels to cover 360 by 40 degrees. See, each radar can detect up to 20 objects at the same time. So once we lock on with the video tracking, we're actually really quite precisely pointing at that target. By pointing the system very accurately with the video tracking, we're getting out to about a kilometer uh, of range with the jammers that we commonly use. We have other systems with longer range capability. And this is an RF-based jamming so that it, it overwhelms the frequencies between the controller and the drone itself. Our system is fully uh, able to be remote controlled. We just simply need an ethernet connection and uh, the system, the video, as well as all of the pan tilt control and the jamming control is, is from remote. The jammers are not the only effectors that we use. We've actually used an a incredibly high powered spotlight. Because we are precisely following the drone, uh, we can use a, an 18 million candle power directional spotlight that uh, disables the camera on, uh, on the drone itself. So in cases where we can't use our RF jamming, uh, for instance, at an open um, football stadium, if a drone flies over and is uh, just watching the game, uh, we can actually direct our energy at it. We deny its capability of using its own camera. If you'd like more detailed information on our system or a demonstration of its capabilities, please contact us at IEC Infrared. Thank you.